The, the first machine we're going to use is the overlocker. You should already have, have used this by now, but um, the overlocker in the specialist machine room has actually been adjusted so that it has a denser, um, a shorter stitch length and a denser stitch, um, which if you're sewing um, two-way stretch, you know, stretchy lycra for swimwear, um, you want to be able to stretch the seam to stretch as much as it possibly can. So the machine in here will do, um, will work really well on two-way stretch, stretchy, stretchy um, lycra. Um, with this t-shirt that we're making, it's a one-way stretch, so it stretches across, across the garment. It doesn't have a lot of stretch, but there's no stretch really down, uh, down the length of the fabric. So you could sew this garment on any of the overlockers in the studios. You don't need to use uh, the stretch overlocker in this room, but I'll just, for ease, I'll just be sewing it here. Um, so the first thing we're going to be do it, doing, and when you're using um, an overlocker to sew a garment, you want to be using a four thread overlocker. So make sure that you've got both needle threads um, in the machine. And we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is sew the shoulder seams. And we're going to place the front and the back right sides together. And with the front of the t-shirt um, on the top, because we want the top of the overlocking to be on the front of the garment and we're going to be pressing the seam back towards the back of the garment. So just bring your edges together. You shouldn't need to use pins for this. Just bring your edges together at the start. We've got a six millimeter seam allowance, so we're, not, we're trying not to cut anything off. We're just resting the seam against the edge of the blade. And then once that's um, being held, you can start sewing. Then stop and bring your ends together. And remember that it's where the seam is that you want um, the seam to overlap. Not that the tip of the garment, but where the, the actual needle th th thread will be. So just put those together. Make sure your edges are even. And stitch along to the end. And then you can come across and do the next one. So get your edges together, make sure that the stitch line is together on the neckline. Your edges are even. Pop it under the foot, start sewing and then organise the end. Hold the end together, get your edges nice and even. It doesn't matter if you trim off a millimetre, but try not to trim off too much.